So the question today is, do you have to have a special pot for water bath canning or can you substitute a pressure canner if you just want to do a water bath? Hi, my name is Sharon Peterson and I'm with simplycanning.com where you can find canning tutorials, tips and classes. Join me over there and I will help you get your pantry filled. Today's canning chat is about a question that I received from Jenny. Jenny asks, if I just buy a pressure canner, is the pressure canner sufficient to use as a water bath method too? Or do I have to use a special water bath pot? I would like to do both pressure canning and water bath and I don't know if I need both. I appreciate your advice and I love your website. Well, thank you Jenny for loving my website, Simply Canning. Yes, you can just do a water bath in a pressure canner. There's a couple things to keep in mind. Um, one is you do still have to have your jars covered Two is you don't want to put the lid on and screw it down. And then three is a, a water bath rack actually fits in a pressure canner. And I wasn't sure, so I checked it and it does fit. So let me go over all three of those. So when you're doing a water bath, obviously um, it's a different type of pot and your jars are fully covered with water. So your jars are down here and the water level is above where the jars will be. Um, in a pressure canner, if you're pressure canning, you only put this much water in the bottom, right? So if you're doing a water bath method, you do still need to put enough water that your jars will be fully covered. And then um, you just bring it to a boil just like you would with a water bath. Now, you will want to put the lid on because that you know saves energy and it keeps the keeps the water boiling rapidly throughout your processing time but what you don't want to do is you don't want any pressure build up at all so what i do i just whoops line up your arrows and i just set it on top there you'll notice i did not screw it down it's not down on all of these latches so it's not solid, it's not down on there at all because you don't want any pressure buildup at all. If you were using an all-American counter, you would do the same thing. You would set it down there, don't pull up your clamps and start locking up all of your clamps. It does have this vent, but just leave it loose so that you know that air is gonna come out or steam is gonna come out and you're not gonna build up any pressure at all. The last one is the rack. You do need a rack under your jars. And as you know, the rack of a pressure canner is just the flat rack on the bottom. When you're doing water bath canning, what I like to do is bring my jars up and use that rack to set on the edge of your pressure canner. And you can't do that if you just have the rack in the bottom. So you'll need to use a jar lifter and lift your jars out of the water carefully. Let them rest at the end of your processing time. Let them rest, make sure all the water stops boiling. Let them rest, you know, five or 10 minutes and then take them out. The other option is you can just buy a water bath rack and I would recommend that. I think this makes it a lot nicer and a lot easier. I wasn't sure if these would fit, but this is my standard size water bath rack. And my hood is so low it gets in the way. It fits right in there and then you can put your jars in there just like you would with your water bath, lower them down in when you're ready to process and then pull them out when, when the time is up and then you can let them rest up above the water in the canner. Yes, you can use your pressure canner as a water bath. The most important of all of that that I just said is don't don't lock that lid down because then you're gonna build up even just a little bit of pressure and it might over process your jars. You'll end up with liquid loss and then that kind of makes a mess. So I hope that was helpful. You guys have a wonderful afternoon and happy canning.